Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to another Hike and Plays video today. We are going to be talking about beginner teams and sort of day one in Voyage of the Four Seas. Now I know a lot of you have been questioning me, hey Hike what's the best team to build? What's the best this? What's the best that? And honestly the truth is your team is going to vary, especially in your first week on you know what you have. If we go into heroes now, you're going to be able to jump into squad and this is sort of your beginner starter team. Effectively, the game's going to give you Luffy to start. You're going to have a Zoro, an army, and then at some point you're going to pull Usopp, who is going to be your first five star. Now, you could play the game through with this team. Of course, there are characters that are going to make huge upgrades. Effectively, you want to get rid of all three of these guys to begin with. Um, but who you get is going to completely depend on RNG or whether or not you spend. Now, you could be a low spender. And what you could do is you could buy the first uh, gift pack that gives you uh, Boa Hancock. So maybe you come in and you immediately take a Boa. If you do, that's probably how your team's going to look. You're going to want to prioritize units. So you want to prioritize units such as uh, Ivan. So you want to take out maybe like Nami and throw Ivan in. He's going to be buffing. He's going to be your first initial buffer. And if you also do spend a little, um, so I think it's 68 gems... Um, you get the first time reward where you get to pick a camp unit. Uh, I highly recommend you pick up the crocodile here. So by the end of day one, with, I don't know, maybe like 30 summons and, you know, topping up, I think it's like 60 or 90 uh, gems, this could be your team. Your team could look something similar to this uh, because you'll get the crocodile and the boa within those, with you know, within those top up rewards. Uh, if you don't hit either of those, you are still, I think it's in your first 40 summons, you're guaranteed a core unit. Uh, your core units are going to look with a core, like just a core banner on it. And typically, if you whichever core unit you hit, you want to be using early on. Um, another really cool tip for, you know, early on is if you have Kobe, he is a fantastic unit. And I mean a fantastic unit. So you can level up to 100 and he will actually carry you through quite a lot of content uh, to begin with. Um, for me, it's just a bit of fun. I, I love to use him. But, yeah, your, your beginner team is going to look something in the region of... And this is assuming you spend a tiny, tiny amount. Um, you will be able to get yourself a crocodile. You'll be able to get yourself a boa. And you're going to be able to ideally pick up one more five-star. And honestly, it could be anything. It could be something like... I don't know. Let's just pick a five-star. I, I don't seem to have many. Maybe you get Axe Hand Morgan. Or maybe you get Arlong, and that's and these are all fine picks. Your day one team is going to look something similar to that. Now, coming out of day one, you're going to slowly start to want to think about where your team goes. Now, of course, it's still it's all about RNG, and it's all about hopefully getting some of those units. But the game is very good and generous at giving, you know, characters away. So, by the end of the first week, I would say ideally, in an ideal world, you're going to want Kuma. You're going to get him for free anyway. So if you can pick up another copy of him, he's a fantastic tank. If you've topped up, you should be able to get your hands on a crocodile. So now we cemented that those two uh, tanks for you. Of course, you might get slightly better units as well. But for now, let's just cement these two. Uh, you are going to have access to someone like Frankie, who's a fantastic tank. I think by day two, you should have an access, you know, have access to Frankie, if not by day one. So if you don't have Crocodile, maybe you just go Frankie. Uh, maybe you didn't top up and you're completely free to play. This this could be what you're running. Um, and then, realistically, almost every free-to-play player has Ivan. He is just someone that you just need to have 100% go and take him. Vivi is an amazing healer, so maybe you can use Vivi and Perona. Uh, if you've topped up, you could definitely be using the Boa as your main damage dealer. If you haven't, then you have a number of options. Maybe you got lucky and you picked up Enel. So you can use Enel as a damage dealer. There is a couple of damage dealers, and we do have a tier list. If you look at my tier list videos, you'll be able to see the different sort of characters and like where they rank. So Enel would be better than Boa in, in reality. Um, on top of that, you could be getting maybe someone in the region of uh, Mihawk, who is, again, another good damage dealer. He probably wants to be more frontline-y, but there you are. Um, but again, if you can get Enel over Mihawk, I would. Maybe you got lucky and you got yourself a Kizaru. Uh, he is fantastic. Uh, I mean, and of course, there is always the best damage dealer in Garp. But I completely understand if you don't end up hitting Garp, 
because he is like you know he is effectively that pay to win character i mean again looking at some of these you know marine units maybe you get lucky and you hit an early big mom big mom early is really strong imagine having garp and big mom early uh, as a, like a free to play um let's just go back to what we had originally so uh we're going to we're going to say hypothetically that you have spent the 68 so you have got a decent start you're going to say, well, Hyken, who's my last unit? And this is really cool because you get to sort of use anyone you want. Personally, I love the idea of having Vivi here. I mean, you've got Perona or Vivi. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, ah, it's Perona and Hyken. He loves Perona. That is true. But listen, Vivi and Perona are probably your two best options in that position as like a free to play low spender um, for now. Like we're, we're talking coming out of week one. Um, so like around four five six days in this this team will be very 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 good for you now pushing into week two vivi and perona will be dropping you will get your hands on your first copy of marco and realistically you should be able to like seven eight maybe even nine star and by the end of the event so marco will be hitting the team by this point you should be able to get your hands on a white beard uh, getting Whitebeard is super, super simple. Uh, you could just refresh, you could just like um, rebirth characters or whatever it's called and then collect the coins. It's 5,000 coins. You could just literally go and buy him. So at this point, you should probably have have your hands on a Whitebeard. Um, potentially a better DPS. So again, this is where we talked about Enel. This is where we talked about, Gar sorry, Garp or Kuzan. Um, you want a better DPS at this point. So this, this is sort of who you want to be going with. And this team... This team right here will literally carry you out your first month. Like, this is your first month team. Now, there's going to be a couple of whales in here who are going to say, Hyken, well, I will, I'm, I'm a whale and I'm willing to spend what should my team look like. And to you, my sir, I say, let's jump straight in. I don't know why I took out Eva. But firstly, I would still throw Eva back in. Now, this really depends completely on what the limited banner is at the time as well. Maybe you have access to someone like Yamato. Uh, in which case, then you'd want Yamato, probably over Eva. But there's a good chance Yamato or Gion and none of those guys are going to be available. So, for the whales among you, you kind of want a team that looks something similar to this. This is a pretty decent team. Again, uh, if Big like if Big Mom's available, take her. If she isn't, av like, if, if other tanks are available, you can actually come in and pick up something like the Kaido. You can pick something up like the Sengoku as well. Uh, do I have a copy of Sengoku? I do not. So I don't actually have a copy of Sengoku or Kaido. So for me, I'm going to showcase the big mom. But Sengoku or Kaido work just as well. Um, and then long term, right? So this is your sort of starter week one build. Even week, you know, two, three, four, whatever. This is going to be your build for a while. And as you can start getting access to newer characters, uh, Marco is probably just the main keep. But you're going to be able to throw in things like, Gear, uh, like Yamato. You're going to be able to throw in things... Um, like where are we uh we should have some more people oh wait i'm I'm looking i'm looking at the wrong thing that's why give me a second uh there you go gion you should be able to throw in things like gion uh i don't think i have a copy of zephyr on this account but zephyr's really good if you want to then like switch into a marine team and you want to start thinking more long term about your teams effectively ivan's going to be one of those characters that's in your team for so long and then at some point you're, you're just going to be too strong and you don't need him, and then you can look at other alternatives that are, you know, just slightly better. Um, maybe you get lucky and you end up getting a king instead of Garp. I mean, I, there is a whole comp around trying to play king. You definitely don't want to go Kaido, and he is also another good damage dealer, but unfortunately, we're not going to see a lot of kings at the moment, and the simple reason for that is, well, kings sort of come out at the wrong time. The current event cycle uh, doesn't really allow for king. But yeah, guys, a team like this would be absolutely, you know, serving all purposes for you. So yeah, as you get more characters, definitely you can then explore your options. Uh, and just try and 12 star as many things as you can. And, you know, we can mix and match. But yeah, the, I just wanted to run down like where sort of team building and team thinking goes. It doesn't matter who you get at the end of day one. End of the day, it's day one, you know? Like... But you want to try and think, what do we do at the end of the first week, end of the second week, and depends on what you're sort of spending on. And this will just give you a rough idea. Again, use those tier lists. Those They are very, very useful tools. And then slowly upgrade your team. Don't be upset that you don't have Garp day one or you don't have Big Mom day one. There are alternatives and just as good. And like those alternatives are just as good. So, yeah.
Boys, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.